Oh man, <laughs> it's good you come out of there, I'll tell you what. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, look how beautiful this is. Oh, wow. Thank you for joining me on your beautiful path in life. Very grateful to have you here with me. And we're just on this journey here together. What a beautiful thing that is very exciting and I hope that your journey is going well so far remember you are a spirit inside of a human body choosing which path it is that you want to go down or through or into and every path will lead you to beautiful and new wonderful discoveries. So I'm grateful that you could join me here today on this path into nature and experience the wonderful color and beautiful immersion of energy that it brings to us. Which way should we go? I, I think, think right, right here looks like a beautiful spot. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another great video. We are on a new path coming here today, coming out of the closet, moving down the path here in nature. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I sure am. It is beautiful outside. People are enjoying the park. It's great weather, there's good laughter, the birds are singing, it's just fantastic. It's really, really wonderful and I'm really happy. I want to share with you this path that I've been on, this different journey than I think many people are in the world today and they're currently going through that awakening process and I want to be one of those special guides to help guide you on that spiritual journey through life right now. We're here incarnated for a short time in this beautiful body that we're given and we have to take care of this rich blessing and it's very important. I'm opening this up to you right now because for a long time I've hid from YouTube and you guys the fact that I constantly live in this sort of spiritual experience from a day-to-day -day basis. I go about my life experiencing it in a very different way than I think a lot of people uh, can understand right now. And what I mean by that is I have come outside of my body spiritually. I have experienced what it is till I have an out-of-body experience. I have experienced what it's like to uh, transcend the conscious state that we normally live in from day to day, driving the car, going to work. I have experienced this interconnectedness with all of life. It is such a beautiful and profound thing. And I feel that I want to hear more from you guys. What kind of experiences have you had? Let me know down in the comments below. The top video series that I've been asked to do is on my past lives. What have I done in my past lives that makes me so different and more aware uh, than I was before? I was not aware of my past lives before, but I am now. And now that I'm ready to speak about it, I'd love to answer some of your questions. I'd love to do some podcasts to join you on that journey of communication and sharing my beautiful inner story, opening my wings to this wonderful new journey, this new path, this new opening and awakening that I want to share with you. And I've been on this for a long time. You see, I am doing something special and this special journey that I'm on is to improve myself 
it's all about self-improvement, knowing thyself. And when you know yourself, you create a better world for you and those around you. You work your best to serve others out of the kindness of your heart. And you work hard each and every day to continue to improve who you are and what you do. And that's part of my journey right now. I think it's so important that we come out and spend time in nature, that we take care of each other, to be able to hug one another instead of all this isolation and separation. It is so important. It is imperative that we create this loving and uplifting vibration for those around us. And we speak our inner truth and not be held back by the masks that are being thrust upon us. I disagree with this and I feel that we need to express our journey, the life that we came here to live. And I really wanted to share that here with you today. I will continue my series on the channel. I'm going to do some videos on my past lives. I want to do some videos talking about my out of body experiences in more depth. I want to share my connection with nature and the experiences I've had that transcend my own physical being. And I think that you should join me on that if you would like to. Well, I think you would like to join me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. What kind of experiences have you had? What kind of things are you interested in knowing? I've had so many spiritual and transcended experiences in my life that I would l just love to share and communicate with you and be there for, uh, to help out, to help support, to be that guide. I may be a spirit in a body, but that doesn't mean I can't be a spirit guide. And that is part of what I'm doing, taking care of others through their journey, their path. And I feel that this is amazing. So I hope that you will join me on that path and continue down this road with me as I am coming out of the closet with my experiences and opening up to my journey, my spiritual nature that I have within me. And I'm really hoping that you'll be part of that. So thanks so much today for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you have a special and wonderful day. You have a golden rest of your day. Get out in nature. Eat a whole foods, plant-based diet. Challenge yourself at least to the weekend for the weekend vegan challenge that I have challenged my friends to previously. Maybe go get in some cold water. Maybe do some Wim Hof breathing practices. Try some new foods. Uh, today, I cooked up a jacama. I cooked up a wonderful jicama, however you want to pronounce it. I made fries out of it. Chopped them up, boiled them, added some seasonings in, fried them in the oven, and they were delicious. They were really good. And it's always wonderful to try some new foods and experience what that's like. I'm all about health and improvement. I've seen what my family has gone through. I've seen what this world is going through right now with crippling amounts of anxiety and depression and just feeling lost. And You don't need to feel that way. When you start taking care of your body in a holistic manner, a whole holistic manner, you too will start to feel better. I've been plant-based for almost four years now. I don't sneak chicken. I don't sneak beef or pork or animal products. I keep it clean, baby. And that is what I eat. And that's what I'm talking about. Yes. And I hope you're talking about it too. So we got to keep this movement going forward for our world, for Mother Nature, for our health, and continue to share these lessons. So yes, please join me on this continued journey that I'm on. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks again for joining me here on the Shack Experience. Later.